see y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, driving, dealing with idiots and <laughs> roads. And probably people calling me idiot the way I'm driving too. But that's beside the point. Uh, the other day I got a delivery of potassium permanganate. I don't know if this is going to focus in or not. Why would I order potassium from Agony? It is a highly corrosive chemical, uh, an oxidizer. I can't read the number, the, the lettering on it at the moment. Let's see. Capital K, capital M, little n, capital O, four. What is it good for? Potassium permanganate. I. I've heard about this before, but then one of the channels that I watch, uh, Plymouth Fens, a uh, really cool young man over in England, uh, he does hiking and hiking videos and stuff like that. Uh, he, he takes some really, really gorgeous pictures of, of the of the uh, the outlands of uh, around England where he where he goes. Some, some of the scenery is just gorgeous. Uh, him and Dokey Dog are out and wandering all over the place. Anyway, he uses potassium permanganate uh, for starting fires. And that's one use. Every, uh, I've had a lot of research on it. I ordered it a while ago. It came on a, must have been a slow boat from China or something. I don't know, because this seemed to take forever to get here. But I had done some research on it and it does start fires, but they use, they usually say you know it's a two-part process. You mix uh, glycol and the potassium permanganate, and it could be uh, uh, the glycol from like antifreeze, or uh, you know you can get it at a pharmacy or whatever. But when the two mix, you get a, uh, a chemical reaction. That causes heat and fire, so it's not instantaneous. It takes a takes a little bit once you once you put the mix on, but when it does, it is almost explosive when it starts. Um, I want to do some experiments with it because I want to see it actually. Because I'm a bit of a fire bug, I'll admit it. But I don't know if it'll just start from a spark. Um, nothing I've seen says that it does. <laughs> other uses because this stuff is pretty amazing and it, but it's not recommended so um, you know, use, it, use it at your own discretion get online look it up study it figure out what it is um, and whether or not you want to use it but it acts it'll act as a water purifier it, don't use it as your first line of defense uh, there's other other means at, at your disposal, uh, water tablets, uh, chlorine, leach, you know, uh, but this will work. A couple of grains into filtered water, enough to turn the water pink, a very light pink, will kill most bacteria that would cause intestinal distress. Uh, too much of this well, uh, it'll kill you. It's poison. So, um, it, it's got to be used very carefully. A stronger mixture will kill, uh, it, it's an antibacterial, it's an antibiotic, uh, it will kill viruses, it'll kill bacteria, depending on the, the strength of the solution. Um, so it's good for wounds. It, it supposedly will work on fungus and other things apparently uh, dentists used to use it as a mouthwash um, after you know, doing, doing uh, oral surgery and whatnot to help prevent infection again you have to be very careful with the amount of solution or the strength of the solution that you make so this isn't something you go into and just buy this and start using it study it 
write it down, keep the information available, make your own decisions on whether you want to use it. I'm going to have it as a backup to a backup in my water kit, and then it, it also works, it'll be in my wound kit because it does well, you know, it does do well as a um, as an antibiotic and a wound for wound care. This stuff will stain. It will stain big time. So again, you have to be careful. It could be, um, you know, just a light. Depending on the again on the strength of the solution, it can it can stain things from a light pink to a dark purple. So uh, that's something else I want to work on because I like purple. So. I may actually see what, you know, how well this will work on staining like wood or something like that just to see what it does. So I'll probably do a video on that. But yeah, potassium permanganate it is a dangerous corrosive chemical that can actually help in a bad situation. It can also make a bad situation worse. So very careful if you decide to try and use it uh, get informed don't take my word for it don't you know uh, don't just take whoever on the internet research it look through uh, I've, I've been all over on Google and I actually went to the library and did a little research and uh, yeah you know there's still places you can go in and grab an actual book and you know follow through of course I had to have the librarian help me find the books because everything's on computer now they don't have file indexes like they used to have so anyway um, yeah from, from what I've researched it's it's a you know it's a, it's a viable addition to any Any wound kit, any uh, day after type kit, any and just you know an emergency kit. If, if you know you're stuck out in the woods for a couple of days, and, uh, and anything from you know a wound to you know needing to purify water. Again, be very careful with it. Do some research. Write it down. Uh, attach your instructions to the container. So that you know exactly what it is that you're doing, um, and use it sparingly. So, I'm not going to recommend this. I am not a doctor, even though they're called doc. Um, I'm not a doctor. It has nothing to do with being a medical doctor or anything else. So, uh, like I said, get informed before you use anything like this. that way and in here I was going through some stuff earlier and uh, putting stuff away and whatnot and there was this sawzall blade reciprocating saw blade this is a general purpose blade that should cut metal wood or whatever and it was just sitting there and it's like, you know, it's all by itself. And I didn't feel like walking out to the toolbox. And I had some Gorilla Tape sitting by. So I made a sheath for it, figuring, you know, you can always use a saw blade, right? Um, I made the, made a sheath out of, out of Gorilla Tape. And I, I basically put two pieces together back, you know, just stuck them together. Um, they don't come apart. <laughs> uh, so I took two pieces and, and put them together. And I took another two pieces and uh, different sizes and stuck them together and then I was able to put the two together so that inside of this or is the this, this smooth surface. I then wrapped another piece of duct tape around it, or Gorilla Tape, 
and then I ran a piece this way. So there's several feet of reusable grill tape on this. There's also a band around this end. Um, it's wrapped around four or five times, so there might be 10 inches there. But then I was sitting and I was thinking, and it was like, well, you know, this is, this is great. It's a nice little saw. And you can use some of the duct tape to, you know, make a little handle on it. It makes it a lot shorter. So, I don't think you could always find a branch and cut the end of the branch a little bit and slip this down in there and then duct tape it in place. But, I have these available too. Just a craft stick. I use these in my wound kits for splits. And I drilled a hole in it that that fits in. And you can wire it in place with a little bit of wire. Or you just tape it. But. And it fortunately fit all in the kit that I made. Because I didn't make the kit up with the handle and the wire in mind. But it actually works together. And then I put it in my bag. Behind the compartment that I've been carrying my phone in. Because nice and well it's not super th stiff but it stiffens the bag up enough that you know it, it helps support my camera or my phone or whatever I want to call that thing I guess so, there's that uh, basically on my way home from dropping the gram rats off oh I'm a little park just around the around the corner from my house. I think I did, I took my seatbelt off. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Kind of rainy, miserable. Not a fun day. Whoops, I got traffic coming in both directions. That ain't good. Go by, go by, okay. Good to get. Look twice for motorcycles, folks. Even on bad days like today, I've seen a couple people that ride bikes. Brr. Crazy people. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all happen to leave comments on your internet access device of choice. Um, if you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check out my Facebook, I'll have a link in the description box wherever it happens to be on y'all's device. Um, you'll also find my snail mail and some links to uh, similar videos that I've done and other stuff. Um, and I'll also add a link to uh, Plymouth Fence page. So uh, here's a shout out to you, Plymouth. Um, he's a good friend of Sammy Prepper. Uh, Sammy down in South Australia. I'll give a shout out to you too since I shouted out to PF. Uh, Sammy's working on 1,500 subscribers. Uh, she'd love to get get there. So if you haven't hit her up yet, please do so. Or you know, at least just share her around. Um, share her on your facial social media as well. But uh, I'll add a link to her page down in the description or up in the description or over in the description. Wherever it is on your device of choice. So I am almost home. Uh, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you're thinking about them. We're not promised tomorrow, people. You never know. You may not get another chance. Turn those off. I forgot to let them on. <laughs> but I hope I get another chance to see y'all. And 
until I do, I hope you have a fantastic day. So, sláinte, y'all.